What's up, guys? It's in the gray one three one three, and today I got an application review for you guys in an app called Quick Office. This is a twenty dollar application you can pick up in the app store, but it's on sale for right now for ten thousand. The first ten thousand downloads, they'll give you it for thirteen bucks. So I really recommend this. Quick Office, mobilize your office. And I'm just gonna go back to the menu. And when you start off, it'll say on iPod Touch, and that's the menu you click on. To access to make files and stuff like that. Over here, you make a uh, create a new document. Over here is you make new folders, add account, public folder, or attachments. Over here is your um, file transferring, which I'll talk about later. Over here is your uh, settings. Over here is your help about the application and so on. So when you click on that, and they'll start you off with these six um um. Uh, sorry guys, files, that's, that's what the word I was looking for, some of them are pictures, some of them are spreadsheets, you can see that, and then some of them tell you how to do it, like this quick office document down here tells you how to, like, use the app properly and stuff like that, so, over here is you make a new document, um, here's where you make a new fo uh, folder, here is you can email any of your files or any stuff like that. You can email them. Say I want to email that. Click send. And then your whole email thing will pop up and so on. So that's a really nice feature that I really like. Here is you can move any of the documents anywhere you want. And here is where you throw them away. So you're just going to make a new uh, document, I guess. You can Again, you can make a spreadsheet, document, or text file. So you get one, two, three, four, five, seven. Um fonts and maybe 20 different maybe more than 20 or less than 20 different fonts so we're just gonna go Arial and 16 I don't know let's make it big for you guys 36 28 and so they'll automatically title it right here I know you guys can't really see that but they'll, they'll, ti they'll title it untitled doc and over here is the back button right here where my finger is my thumb and um so we're just gonna click this first tab it says bold italic text format text color and highlight so these are the colors you can make your text let's make them blue and then skip the highlight let's make it bold I guess and over here is where you want to align your um, paragraph so you want to put it right here you see that um, cursor right there let me zoom in for you guys you see that big cursor right there so you can move it here so it'll end up right here so you can just move it around is really nice. Over here is your keyboard. Simple. Here, bullet. So if you want a bullet, there it is. Just press it again to erase. Here, I think I actually don't know what this is. Maybe it erases your whole document. I'm not sure. And here's where you search your um, whole file. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna write something. So let's just write this app. Is amazing. Done. So you can zoom out and so on. You can see you can make the text smaller by zooming out, or you can zoom in, make it big. Look how big it's getting. Oops, sorry guys. And you can cut, copy, and paste like you do with normal, usual. So there it is. So this is a really nice application. So let's click back and when you click back it'll say don't save save as and save we're just gonna save and it will and you just choose the file so we'll just click that file and we'll just put it here and we'll just name it untitled doc of course and it just saves that quickly and now it's on now what this app is really um, useful for is say you don't have a computer um, a printer or a computer around and you just wanna print something for homework for business or something like that and um what you do then is they give you a website right here down here and then over here you click that little tab no sorry guys not that one this one and you just make a username and a password so when you get on the website it'll ask you for a username and password you sign that in and the, everything you have on this app, all your files, all your documents, will show up on that website in your computer. And you can save those documents on your computer, or you can upload um, files from your computer to your iPod Touch. So either one, you can put iPod Touch files to your um, computer, or computer files to your iPod Touch. 
And again, I think they have to be Microsoft Word. I'm not sure about that. They, all I know is they can be spreadsheets, texts, and documents. So, it's basically what I have for you in this app. I mean, this is a really nice app. You can do so much with it. It's not even funny, guys. I mean, you can create pages, spreadsheets. Let me just show you the spreadsheet. The text is kind of like the document. This is the spreadsheet. So up here is where you title it. I believe I'm not really good. I'm not really um know a lot about spreadsheets, but I think this is the title, so I'm just gonna title it T H. I guess I'm not sure. Oh no, that's not where you put it. Never mind. That's where you you put something in there, and it'll show up to the box you're highlighted. So say I want to highlight there, so the six box, and I want to put G H and done, and then they'll show up right there. G H. So this is kind of like you can use it for a whole bunch of like maybe office sales or stuff like that if you have homework or other stuff. So here you have bold, italic, text format, text color, background color, cell borders, and number format, which is for money and stuff like that. And look at all those number formats you can change it to, guys. There's a lot. Percentage, scientific, time, dates, accountings, currencies, numbers. I mean, this is just a crazy application that I really love and it's really useful. Um... Over here, you can just drag it around. You can see that. Drag it up, drag it down, align it, you can warp it, default. And I'm just going to click done. Over here is where I believe you select a worksheet. So if you want to add a new one, loads up that. And over here, insert columns, right, left, right, insert rows above, below. You can delete columns and you can delete rows. Over here is it erases it, so say you want LHTH, click that erases, and again, this is where you find it. So, let me just go here, number format, let's do currency, I guess, done. So say over here, you want to put dollars for English, done, dollars and then here, you can just put a whole bunch of stuff on this spreadsheet, guys. Again, I don't really know what spreadsheets used for, to tell you the truth. But I know that this is, uh, this is official. This is what the real people use. Because I have one on my computer. I don't really use it, but this is what it looks like, guys. This is the real deal. So, again, back up. You can save it. Don't save it. Or save it. So, we're just going to don't save it. And that's basically it. So, say you want to delete an app, just delete that. Delete. And just to delete. So this is really nice, guys. I really like this application. It's probably one of the top applications out there that you can get. It does everything for you. I mean, I really like this. There, you can have pictures, I believe. So, oh, you can also copy a picture, say, on the internet. Oops, it just backed out. Hmm. Maybe there's something wrong with it. I don't know. Let's say you want to download, like, um, copy a picture. Say, let's just. Go on the internet, copy a picture. Um, iPod, I guess. Let's Google it. Images. Alright, we'll just take that one, whatever. We'll save image. Actually, no, we'll copy it. My bad. So you copy an image. You go back to your, um, quick office. So you want to put it on here, app. Loads that easily. And then... Go here. Let's put... And then double tap. I believe, so I don't know why it's not working. Paste. Oh. I guess you can do that, guys. I'm sorry, I was just checking if you can. I guess not. Or maybe you can and I'm doing it wrong. I'm not sure. But, this is a great application again. You can upload... Make Word uh, spreadsheets and Microsoft Word documents and stuff like that on your iPad Touch and send them to your computer. Say if you're on the road and you don't have that much time to go home and type it out. You only have time to type it out on your um, iPad. You just type it out on your iPad. And when you get home, go on the website, pr uh, save it, and print it out. So again, you can. This is a very useful application. I really like it. Again, it's called Quick Office.
for the iPod Touch and the iPhone. It's a $13 um, dollar application. I don't know when I'm going to upload this. I hope it's still going to be 13 bucks.